In this video, we will go over the process of converting a pencil and paper worksheet into a digital version using Google Docs. This is a great first step on integrating technology in your classroom, taking something that you would normally do using pencil and paper and making a digital version that you could use as an assignment in your Google Classroom. So here we have a classic opinion graphic organizer that we've scanned in, as a PDF. And uh, we can turn anything like this into a Google Doc simply using tables and converting the information that's in this original graphic organizer into a Google Doc version that students can fill in. This is the new version. And as you can see, the tables are um, editable so students can fill in the different pieces. One of the things that we recommend is that any place that the students are going to be typing, we change a different color. You can choose whatever color, like here it's green, and anything that's an instruction or material that the students need to read remains white. So this is just our example of an opinion graphic organizer, and I'm going to go through the steps for how to make a different version of an online worksheet. So in this new document, we'll go through the steps for how to make a graphic organizer similar to the opinion one. Start off with the name, and then we'll give it a title. And you can change the formatting, of course, on any of these pieces and set it up for how you would like it to look. So we're setting this one up as a graphic organizer similar to our original example, but the options are really endless for the types of worksheets or um, organizers that you can make for your students. We're also going to give it a title up at the top left because that's really the document title. So something that's clear since we will most likely be assigning this through Google Classroom. And then I'm going to start inserting tables. And so the tables are really important because this is how I will organize all of the information in this document. And so typically on one side of the table, I will put what I want my students to do and leave spaces for them to fill it out. Just like in the opinion graphic organizer, I've highlighted this section that the students are going to fill out and changed the background color to a light color of my choosing. And I'm going to let my students know in the instructions for this assignment that they need to fill out any of the pieces that are that light blue green color. I'm going to space out my tables so that my worksheet or graphic organizer is um, not so overwhelming and all jammed together in one table that it's nice and spaced out. And in any other sections, I can add information for my students or instructions. So I can add sentence starters here. And even though I started with one column, I can go into format and insert more so I can adjust my tables after I've started to create them. I can space out my tables and insert more and continue on building my graphic organizer for the types of information that I want my students to complete. And I can drag over any of the pieces and after I've highlighted this, um, one of the pieces uh, that's nice about these documents is that any of the sections in the tables will automatically expand as the students type into them. So it will grow with the information that the students um, type in. So here is just a basic version of an online graphic organizer that I can use as an assignment in my Google Classroom. So try it out, converting any of your paper worksheets into Google Docs today. Don't forget to subscribe to the EdTech Team YouTube channel right here and check out the next video in our playlist.